here I have kind of an interesting implementation of the 1970s arcade game Snake. And this is implemented in C++, but what makes it interesting is that it's all implemented at compile time. So all the actual game logic is happening at compile time. Uh, and it's using C++ template metaprogramming to accomplish that. So I have a post up that actually talks a little bit uh, about how this is done and uh, breaks down all the different steps that go into this. And you can find the complete code up on GitHub. But in this video, I'm hoping to just demonstrate how you could actually play this compile time implemented game. Um, and play is probably not the right term for what you're actually doing here. But you can kind of um, see the, the game evolve over time. So right now I'm going to compile it in its initial state. Um, you can see this player input object here. Uh, that actually is saying the inputs that I'm going to be providing to the, uh, the snake game over time. So I'll keep adding on to a list there. But right now I have no input, so it just is going to print out the initial game world state. So down here, this is the game world, and then this little triangle is the snake who is facing right at the moment, and then there's a piece of food right next to him. So this little asterisk is a piece of food. So I'm going to enter my first input command and continue on right here and recompile to see what happens now. And I should consume that food. And that is what happens. So now the snake is of length two, and he's consumed the food. So a new food item has been placed here. I'm just going to continue right a little bit more uh, to show what happens when you do collide with something in the game. Um, so here I'm going to go right four more times by entering input none, which just signals continue on in the current direction. And now looking back, you can see that I have collided with the wall and I am dead. Uh, so this black box is indicating a collision took place. And one nice feature about the implementation is that you can actually see the entire history of the game. So if I scroll back here, you can see all the different states as I entered each individual input command. So if I look through this history list, I can see, oh, in this third state right here, I should have gone up instead of continuing on right. So if I just change this to an up, then the snake should actually continue up and hit that third food item, which is what happens. So you can see that right here, the snake is about to consume the food. Then he does consume it, grows to length three, and continues on. So just to demonstrate a little bit more complex game, I'm going to add in some commands that grow up the snake to a length of five. So this is just going to get him up to be length five. And now you can see that the snake can actually collide with himself as well. So here's the snake, and he's turned back. So if he goes left at this point, then the snake would collide with itself, and it would be game over as well. So I'll enter that command and just show what happens when the snake does collide with himself. So, yep, as expected, the snake collided with himself right here in this black square, and I am dead now. So it's the end of the game. So obviously, this is not a practical way to implement or play snake. Nobody's going to implement a, a game at compile time using C++ templates. But it does demonstrate the power and flexibility of C++ templates. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about templates and what they can do, and how they're really not as scary as some people seem to make them out to be, check out the blog post or check out the entire source code for the snake implementation over on GitHub.